Item number SCP-6151, Security Level 2. Containment Class Euclid, Disruption Class Flam, Risk Class Warning. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6151 has been transferred to the staff break room of the Miami Walmart Supercenter. While civilian interaction with SCP-6151 is banned, members of Stationary Task Force Kappa-51 always low prices are encouraged to patronize the object if not considered a risk to their mental well-being. All communications regarding SCP-6151 to POI-792, Mon Greece, are to be headed by Dr. Kinsing and occur on an at least bi-monthly basis to ensure proper containment. Description SCP-6151 is a hot dog vending machine of a previously unknown brand which spontaneously manifested in the Miami Walmart Supercenter following an extended period of the 10 day between the SCP Foundation and Grease Burger Incorporated. All buttons on SCP-6151 display the word Grease, as well as a variable cost between $2.50 and $2.75. Although testing has shown no difference in anomalous effect, or taste between each option. When the appropriate amount of currency is inserted into SCP-6151 and a button is pressed, an outwardly non-anonymous hot dog will be dispersed, despite this being mechanically impossible. Internal imaging shows the inside of SCP-6151 is composed of haphazardly placed mechanical parts, a car battery, flesh, and Grease Burger legally distinct void byproducts. Upon consumption, the consumer will fall unconscious for approximately 15 seconds, with no other adverse physical side effects following a reawakening. The subject, henceforth referred to as SCP-6151-1, will experience extreme time dilation during this, recording the period to last anywhere between several weeks and millennia. With a median experience time of 14 years. During this, SCP-6151-1 instances report extended conversations with a figure claiming to be Martin Greece, largely focusing on the Greece Burger Incorporated and lessons in business management. Addendum Communications between Foundation and POI 792. Interviewer Dr. Kensing. Interviewee, POI 792, Martin Greece. Context. Following manifestation and preliminary testing of SCP-6151, contact was opened with Greece Burger Incorporated via SCP-5921 to deduce the origin and intent of the item. Begin log. Dr. Kinsing dials his personal number into SCP-5291. His phone bells to ring, instead immediately going to the voicemail, while POI-792 picks up the phone from an unknown presumed extra-dimensional location. Welcome to the 24-7 Facebook Hotline. Bring your humors to the modern consumers. How can I help? Can I speak to, uh, modern? Universe? What? <sighs> Never mind. Uh, forgot how much of a pain you lot were. Uh, Kensing, right? Right. One moment. The sound of somebody attempting to hum jazz music begins to play through the phone. It is discordant, and Dr. Kensing instinctively pulls the phone away from his ear in self-defense. Approximately 35 seconds later, it abruptly stops and a user returns to the other end of the phone. Of note, it is the same voice as the start of the call. All right, Martin here. What's up? What's up with the brand new hot dog machine? That's the new thing we cooked up recently. Profits have been through the roof since you started giving us 40% of yours. So we decided to lend a hand with a Chris Burger refreshment and re-education nutrition dispenser. How did you do that? Do what? How the hell do you manage to say Reese Burger's superscript trait mod out loud? I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. I. 
Just a hot dog machine. We gave one of ours a hot dog. And they went mad. What's up with that? I tried to teach him. Well, he did, but he just wasn't getting the basics. Buy high, sell low, Australian school economics, the classics. We must have been there for hours. D53289 reported being in there for, well, over three decades. By Seamus, you and your time. Oh, uh, whatever. Decades. It's a simple idea. You not finally listen to me and start this little joint taking off thanks to the external power of my greasisms. You make more money, slide your dues my way, everyone wins. Maybe you'll even pick up a thing or two along the way. Anyway, I've got some big stuff on the way, so I'm gonna have to dip. Everything's coming up grease, baby. And just remember, you can't spell grease without easy. In the interest of gaining a deeper understanding of Greaseburger Incorporated's business model, consumption of SCP 6121's hot dogs by members of Kappa 51 specially trained in sensory deprivation and diplomatic skills. Key information is available to Level 3 staff and above. Addendum 2 Noble Results of Exploratory Studies. There's a lot to learn from the other corporations, too. Yes, when that sort of company in your dimension had had the right idea. Took a lot of inspiration from that when creating Grease Burger out of morphing drink. Barn Grease on Coca-Cola and Heroin. I'm still not over your unnecessary attachment to Euclidean geography. Do you have any idea how many more shelves you could fit in here if you just expanded into another dimension or two? Barn Grease on expanding Walmart operations. I don't get all the hype around them, to be honest. Facebook Incorporated brought the rights to the idea of Beep years ago. Best investment we ever made, and way before some guys online. Bond Grease on non-fungible tokens. Attempts by the Foundation Legal Department to transcribe or conceptualize Beep without integration by GOI 792 are ongoing. What do you mean they took it out in 1929? Mon also on Coca-Cola. Now Seamus was an American hero that knew what was up. Had no time for all this union and human rights business. Knew it was his Seamus given right to do whatever the hell he wanted. Because he thought of it first. Brings a tear to my eye. Lots of folks don't get that nowadays. Mon Grease on entrepreneurship. Hold on. You don't even make them pay rent! One Grease on containment of humanoid anomalies. Following extensive testing over a period of several weeks, Dr. Kensing was contacted by POI 792 on his personal phone while on leave, an event deemed significant as the first contact initiated on behalf of Grease Burger Incorporated rather than the Foundation. Hello? Welcome to the 24-7 Grease Burger Hotline, where yesterday's flesh is now suddenly fresh. How can I help you? Wait, Rick! I've already used that one. Give me a sec. Mon? The one and only. Well, that isn't really true, but what's a little extra universal duplication among friends? What? What? Anyway, I uh, just wanted to do a little check-up on this old hot dog machine. Puppets are through the roof, thanks to it. The people seem to love it. Aye, we can't have used it more than a dozen times. Exactly! $23.25! Best quarter this dimension's had since Grease Burger Handmade Bubonic Plague went by 700 years ago. You're welcome? Pleasure doing business with you. Keep this up and I'm sure we'll end up with something profitable, both for your foundation and for you. POI 792 Winks. Despite the medium of interview being a voice call, both Dr. Kinsing and transcribers insist that POI 792 Winks. I Thank you. Oh, like Grease Booker out. And remember, you can't spell Grease without easy. The phone hangs up. What the frick just happened? Following this interview, 
25 cents were deposited from an unknown source into Dr. Kinsing's primary bank account. The reason for this is unknown.